Good morning, folks. Welcome back to the stream. My name is Joel Duggan, and we're hanging out here on the Citadel, just outside of West Hill, where we were uh, building here along the Curtain Wall Marsh and the green space yesterday. And I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. Uh, weirdly, it looks better without shaders than it does with, but essentially what I wanted to do here was create some sort of like low-lying wet ground that looked like it drained into the marsh. We don't really have like waterfalls or anything uh, and any kind of water that we would have would be be quite high and thick so I just went with uh, waterlogged bushes, waterlogged leaf blocks and that seemed to have done the trick. And we did this all the way along here, all the way over to the path. And you can see it really good on the map actually. So all these little blue speckles are all here. Way for night, true purple Dan, cosmic, good to see everybody. Blast Jordan kicking in the door, saying hello. Welcome back. Uh, we are streaming at a unique time. I had to move some uh, streams around this week. I've posted in Discord, I've posted on Twitter. Twitter was giving me trouble earlier today. It took me a while to get the tweet out. I meant to put it out two or three hours ago, but it only seemed to go out... Um, just an hour before the stream so i apologize if you didn't get the notification uh i only was able to confirm this week when i was going to be streaming so um i mean it's all good I, i'm excited to, to see my friend Britt who's in town but uh normally i stream at one o'clock in the afternoon so today and tomorrow thursday and friday i'll be streaming at 9 a.m which is what time it is now and uh, today's Minecraft, tomorrow's Lego, and then back to Saturday at the regular time, 1 o'clock Atlantic time. So, all good. Uh, I think the thing we need to do is... I, I was going to move all these shulkers, but I kind of think that maybe we should work on this path going down to the river. And fill in this space. I don't think that'll take a long time, and I think... It makes sense to do it with all the shulkers, like, right here. It feels like probably a good thing to do. So, we'll go to normal cam mode here. I don't think I'm going to start with the texture. I think I want to complete... I started doing, like, the edges of the path, and I think that's what we're going to do down here. So, it's going to be a lot more bushes. I'm going to grab some andesite and some stone, though. I feel like we've got... Well, it's mostly cobblestone and andesite, yeah. Maybe we'll get some tough in here, too. I'd like to have something different than stone here because it looks very, very similar to what is happening with the, the bridge, so I think we'll switch that out to some andesite. So we'll get a bunch of blocks here. Yes, Cosmic. Yeah, Brits in town. Um, home for the first time in 13 years, I think. K hey, the river cat. Hello. I think I saw you yesterday, but I didn't neglected to say hello. Sorry about that. Hope you're having a good day. We'll grab some gravel. I uh, will grab some stone in case we need it. Uh, andesite. Tough cobble, mossy cobble. We're probably just going to start left to right down there. And then we are going to need moss, I'm sure. Concrete powder. We need to make more concrete powder. Do I have the stuff to do that? I should. I think it's 32, right? Yep. 
Concrete powder moss, azalea bushes. Moss carpet. I don't think we'd use that. I wonder if there's space for bamboo down there. Okay, the Rivercat says, I'm not sure how I'm up this early, but hoping for a good day. I went to bed at a decent time last night. I was up around 6.30 this morning, so I'm feeling all right. I've 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 had several hours and several cups of coffee, so I feel prepared. Uh, I don't think I want to do sugar cane down here. It could be interesting to have a couple things right there. Although typically the water would be moving faster around the edge there. The problem with bamboo is that you have to stop it from growing. You can't can't snip bamboo, right? You have to put string on it to keep it from growing. Not like I do a news show about Minecraft where I should know that stuff. All right, let's just think about this from the top down. So we'll start here and we'll go down and do the greenery stuff on the sides. I feel like this could probably be softened up a bit here. And then I'm going to need grass and ferns too, aren't I? This is why I wanted to do this with all of this stuff right next door. Seems to make the most sense. Yeah, that looks better already, right? Oh, that does not look good there though. What are we going to do there? I guess I could double bush it. Sure. Whoop, that is the wrong thing. Twice in a row. I set him awake. I swear I'm not lying. Now here we could probably switch it up a little bit. starting to help getting there now here I want to try and turn the player to the left and I think I may also do we want to make that less steep I don't know that we have the room to do that we could if we twisted it around ah, let's not worry about it I'll have to come back with some other other blocks anyway. Although I feel like I am missing a slab. Uh, crafty, craftum surge, craftum surge. Uh, I admire your patience, Joel, but it really shows your town and surroundings. Looks great. Thanks very much. Yeah, I mean, I'm naturally patient anyway. I, I'd say that's probably something that comes pretty naturally to me. I don't have to work at that too hard. Um, but I, I find too that you know once I put enough time into the citadel, I have I had no desire. It's got less to do with patience and a lot to do with just not wanting to start over again in Minecraft. Um, anytime I've ever done that, the appeal has been a short project like a modded series or Skyblock or something. If I want to start over, I want to have like a very different early experience, you know.
Yeah, so we'll change this one too. Some of these are probably going to change in their texture, but that's fine. So I'm just focusing on the right hand side here and get this to look right. Don't like it when they come over the edge. That works. That's good. So here I feel like we can get a, a nice border going with a bigger, bigger bush maybe. So I'll probably turn most of this into bush. Actually, I should probably get some rooted dirt and some mangrove roots. Yeah, I like the, the data pack for the coarse dirt slab. I need to make sure that it's going to work in 1.21. That's a huge part of the area. I use it everywhere. So I it's one of those things I need to make sure is going to work when I move to 1.21. Unfortunately, it's one of the data packs that I made myself using a website. So I don't know whether... Um, crafting destruction has updated for 1.21 or not. Uh, what was I looking for? Mangrove roots. And money mangrove roots. Now we're getting close to a taiga biome and a river biome here. Plains. Oh, it stays plains. Okay. River. So at some point when we get into the river, the azalea trees, yeah, so the, the azalea stops being useful because the color shifts. So it's really more over there, which is good. All of this is sunflower plains. We should be okay. I've noticed that in other areas. very thick. Oh, I don't want to cover that up. Um. lot of grass. Maybe I need to switch some of these out for some ferns.
Aldabar, good to see you. Grandpa Crafter, welcome in. Thanks for the shout out for Aldabar, Cosmic, appreciate it. How are things on Halcyon Heights? It feels all right. It feels like it's a lot of the same down there. I might want to break that up. Um, have I been using anything else over here? I think, generally speaking, I was using jungle as a darker version. Yeah. Just to give a little bit of variety. It's surprising how much that helps, actually. I think I might have to go all the way across here. Inventory full? It probably is. Yes. Oh, well, there's ink. Hold on. Now it's full. Scotsman! Hello, hello. Thanks for sneaking in while you're at work. I won't tell if you won't. Yeah, I think that works. Sure. Oops. All right, I'll worry about that texture more when I do the actual riverbed, or not riverbed, riverbank. All 
Alright, I feel like that's pretty good. No, I missed. That is not what I wanted to do. Not the end of the world, <laughs> but not what I had planned. All right, happy accident. We'll lean into it a little bit. It's actually not that bad. Probably saved myself some time. Okay. That's done. So then this top part could maybe just use a little bit of love. Yeah, I feel like that's that's pretty good. So I don't want to get carried away. I don't want to go around the corner here. I kind of want to just go to about here uh, because this is going to be a different piece of land. It's probably not going to be an actual farm. I feel like there's going to be this area here is going to be like an old abandoned farm. And then I don't know what's happening here. So I normally when I do stuff like this, I like to have the other focus finished and then I fill in the in-between space. And we've got this interesting tree that's been there. And I think what's going to happen here is I'm probably going to turn this into a custom tree. I'm probably going to leave it right where it is because that's how Minecraft generated it. But then I think what I'm going to do is, is maybe have it lean over the river a little bit. So we'll just kind of start to shift it over. I've done that in other places. Uh, we take this quick jaunt over this way. There was a couple of trees that were naturally on this little um, peninsula. And so I just kind of tweak them just a little bit and push them out over the space. I feel like there's another one over here too. Yeah, so like this one here. So just little things like that. The rest of these are all vanilla trees. They're nothing nothing crazy. Aldebar gifted a sub to K the River Cat. Thanks so much. Appreciate that. Very, very kind of you. Halcyon Heights is going very well. We are currently waiting for the server software to be stable for 1.21. So a bit of a lull period. So what's um what's special about Halcyon Heights that you need to wait? I'm just curious because I'm just waiting on um, mods and data packs. And well, and really, I don't know if I'm waiting on the mods or the data packs so much as I'm waiting on myself or trying to find the time myself to go through one by one and figure out which one of the data packs and mods i shouldn't say data packs i've not even tested the data packs i'm mostly focusing on the mods so i've been wanting to test the mods because i got the ones that all say they were working and then they were not working so a little bit um oh what, what's going on there that was weird Leave that like that, and then I think this will switch over to Andesite. I'm going to do the top layer here. Having a bit of deja vu, I might have done this before. That could be tough, I think.
Uh, we use paper. Ah, okay. So paper is the, the server software. And they have not re released fully a stable bug-free version because it's specifically a Twitch streamer's SMP. We are a bit overcautious. Well, that makes sense. I mean, you've, you've got, you know, people are using it as their, either their job or their side hustle or whatever. I agree. <laughs> What's special about Halcyon Heights is that they have Ginger the Lily. I sense a small bias, Cosmic. Just in time for the rain. Uh, Scotsman says, I found that with Enderman griefing prevention when I first wanted to go to 1.21, the packs that I tried said they would work and then didn't, and I tested them, similar to what Whip was saying the other week. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's something that you can disable with a game rule, though. Can you not? Can you not change Enderman griefing now with a game rule? Minecraft crash when I started might be Shulker Plus. Um, I don't think Chuck Chuck takes care of the tables and chairs data pack anymore. I think it's somebody else. And I think Chuck Chuck goes by Axel now. I don't know. People keep on changing their handles. Trying to sneak in some variety here where I can. Mm, that might be better as andesite. I think I need to get used to using this camera mod. It's not bad. I would say I'm going to switch this out. And then over here, I need to go back down a little bit. Maybe a stair would be good here. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better than what was there before. And it stands out more against the, the side. I kind of think that this could be cobblestone.
don't think that's going to work. Uh, maybe. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Mm, I think that has to be a regular cobblestone stair. Oh no, it's not a small bias, it's a huge bias. Nice, Cosmic. Uh, the problem with anti enderman griefing is that it disables villagers interacting with the world and creepers as well in the one rule. Really? Oh. That would explain why it's a data pack on so many places then. Does the one on vanilla tweaks not work? I know that um, Exumavoy was having trouble updating the, ser the Hermitcraft server, but it seems like he solved that. Or he and the team of people that were helping him. Mossy cobble in a shady location under a bridge next to a river is such a lovely tone. Thanks, Scotsman. Yeah, I appreciate that. That's the idea. What do I want to put back here? I think I'm done with the stairs. I can put these back. Yeah, so the other thing I'm try I try to do is like where the bush touches the grass, I'm trying to bring it down a little bit. I also think that this could be switched out. I did this very quickly and I was not thinking and I'm realizing I'm probably going to have to dig underneath here and fix a bunch of stuff. did the jungle thing here though some places we can probably get away with a sapling That looks better. Same problem up here. Whoops. Seeing more brown up here somewhere. Oh, it's the path. All right, well, that can't change. That's fine. I've got the jungle happening over here as well.
Okay, so now it's just a matter of getting these bushes to flow down over the side a bit. First things first, moss. This is probably going to have to go back to moss. That's fine. And it's not that I prefer the color, I just like the fact that moss has got green all the way down the side. Vanilla Tweaks does have the Enderman griefing data pack now, okay. Which is why I've been able to upgrade. Uh, they released a week after I first tried though. Ah, uh, yeah. I know they're having some issues. So have you have you found that the data packs on Vanilla Tweaks now all work on 1.21? Because that's the bulk of our data packs. We've got a couple from Voodoo Beard and a couple of my own. Um, the ones that are mine are just recipe data packs. The ones that are mine are just like the stone cutter wood recipe things. That's it. I feel like we can probably do a bush here. I don't hate that, but I think I'd rather do a bush there. Yeah, that's one thing I just haven't had time for. I was actually thinking about doing that today live on stream was testing a bunch of stuff and just hanging out and chatting, but ultimately I just I didn't have the brain capacity to be going through all that. If the stream quality was better on my Discord, then I would do that kind of thing in the Discord live. I think that's helping a little bit. And then maybe these ones can be bushes as well. And it softens that edge up a little bit. Dancer. Holy nuggets. Just a little something. I have really missed your streams. Well, thank you so much, Cosmic, with a $100 donation. Holy crap. Thank you. It's good to have you here. Your absence has been missed. We know you've been busy. And everybody says hello. But we also... <laughs> uh, there may be some jokes at your expense. 
about flowers when you're not looking? Because we all know you watch the VODs later. Uh, and then either Elkhorn or Dan or both tend to represent the... I suggest flowers when you're when you're not here. I feel like that's a bit of a repetition about what's on the other side, but I'm okay with it. So we're gonna just change the stuff underneath here. I wonder if this is where I can get away with a mossy cobble. Yeah. Helps have a nice border to the, to the place. This could actually be full on pair of them, maybe? That or. Switch it to andesite. Yeah. I feel like it needs more bushes. Yeah, that feels pretty chaotic, overgrown. Are we missing anything up here? Hmm, that makes it a little bit too, too narrow, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. I think we can switch to doing the texture on the path now. I'm always looking. <laughs> it says cosmic, which might be the creepiest thing I've typed. <laughs> Jury is still out. <laughs> That's fair. Again, thank you so much, Cosmic. I really appreciate that support. Um, they have a large selection of their 1.21 data packs, says Scotsman UK, including Wandering Trader mini blocks. We're going to axe that. We're actually going to move from the Wandering Trader. I haven't even discussed this with the other people on the server. I, I'm making the executive decision to add the making mini blocks in the stone cutter data pack. I would much rather have that than having to deal with the Wandering Trader. I think I'm going to try to convince everybody to disable the Wandering Trader altogether. I will try to come up with an alternative for drip leaf. I think small drip leaf we need to have some sort of like custom recipe for. I would I would love to make something more complicated. I would like to make something um where you have to like farm it or grow it. So rather than just like a crafting recipe, it would be nice if it was like I don't know adding it as a drop from regular drip leaf or I don't know, like I feel like I want to do something unique. So it's more gameplay, not just the make easy button, if that makes sense for people. I'm going to keep the gravel and the tough. But I'm going to put back cobble and the andesite.
So now, how did I do those other river parts? I think it was mud and rooted dirt. Packed mud. Packed mud and rooted dirt. Coarse dirt, and it looks like mangrove? Yeah. Packed mud, concrete powder, mangrove. There was some strip dark oak in there too. Uh, root of dirt, path block, got the grass stuff. I'm gonna want some stripped there. Don't know if I want to go muddy, but we'll bring these just in case. Actually, you know what? Before I switch gears here and start doing a different, um, a different kind of texturing and my brain has to shift, I'm going to take my break just a little bit early. Today's stream might be just a little bit short of two hours just because I have somewhere to be for noon. So uh, normally I take a break once an hour, folks, if you're new. I think a lot of people here are regulars, but if you're watching this later on the VOD, uh, we're just a few minutes shy of my first hour break. So I'm gonna grab it now, five or six minutes. I will be right back.
Oh. Run away. All right, while we're up here, let's just take a look at how this how this looks. I say that came together pretty quickly and pretty well. I am happy with that. You see how easy it is when you've got one thing finished and then another thing finished, the bridge? How easy it is to just fill in the space? I think that's a really good trick that people don't necessarily talk about a lot. I mean, I know I do, but I don't, I don't know a lot of other Minecraft players that have talked about that kind of thing. Uh, maybe we'll go with a slab there. Oh, I'm going to need a bucket, aren't I? Oh, no. We're good. Hmm. Around here we might want to go more muddy. I know I've done this in other places, but I'm struggling to remember where. I think south end of town. Yeah, there. So that is terracotta. Soul sand over there too. Uh, there was another spot somewhere. Yeah, I think some terracotta might be worth, worth grabbing. Oh, there's a stone wall there. Oh, this is nice too. Hold on. Hmm. That might be the better way to do it. Yeah. Let's go with the mangrove and the dark oak. Yep, yeah, and then switch back to that. And then here we can do maybe more dark oak. And then back here we can do. Uh, I don't know if this will work. Maybe, sort of. Hmm, that doesn't really jive. I thought it would. Maybe if it's over here? Yeah. Works better with the lighter blocks, I think. Nope. 
Be careful not to turn that into concrete. Ah, it's too purple. I need something in between coarse dirt and mangrove. Don't think this will work. Ah, uh, maybe. That, or maybe we use some oak. Yeah, those go well together. What if I move this back here? I kind of wonder what would happen if I waterlogged those. It's weird how much the way things look on the map has started to affect how I decorate stuff. It's weird. I, you wouldn't think that the map would have sway my decisions, but Suicide Squid. Yeah, that looks kind of funky, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't like that at all. Do we like the roots, though? Maybe I can just tuck one of them back here. Too much like a checkerboard. Um, I wanted to make this one oak. Hmm. Need something else back here too. That looks okay. This is still very dark. Maybe I should tuck that back in here. Hmm, yeah, that works better. That works better. This still feels kind of funny, but I don't know, don't know what to put there. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's better than it was before. Don't necessarily know if I want two of them together like that. Nope. This is where I really miss having pebbles in my core dirt texture. For sure.
That helps a little bit too. Wow, I've been staring at that for 10 minutes because the sun's gone down. <laughs> Fazu Battlecaster coming in to say good morning a wee bit earlier than you're used to. Yeah, a little bit, huh? I guess it depends. For people that are on the other side of the planet, it's probably like, this is great. Joel's not streaming at 3 a.m. But yeah, it's definitely early for me. I I kind of wonder sometimes if I if I really decided to to go hard into streaming rather than just two hours in the afternoon, um, if I was to go for like a full day, you know, like 9 a.m. to I wouldn't go five because I want to go to the gym around three thirty or four. But if I did like a, a nine a.m. to three, you know, two three hour streams with a lunch break, I don't know what that would do for my for my viewerships and growth and all that kind of stuff. Hmm 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 hmm. That feels kind of out of place. That's better. That's better. Yeah, that's the only thing. Maybe we need to switch these two. I think that's probably about the best we're going to be able to do. Not crazy about that. I could make it darker. Nah, it just looks like a checkerboard floor. That's no good. That helps a little bit, maybe. What if I move this here and pull one of these back here? Nope. Again, check a board. All right. I think this is about as good as we're going to get. Oop, not that. And we don't really have much for texture down here. I'm going to grab, I guess maybe we can get away with a spruce plank. Like maybe some person has come down here and thrown a couple of planks down just to reinforce it a little bit. I just want to have a bit more of a border here. You can see where the coarse dirt kind of bleeds into one another. So I feel like what we could do here is put down a slab and that gives you a height difference which is nice it's not amazing that actually might be better off as a mossy cobble slab 
Oh, the inventory woes. Okay, hold on. We're done with this stuff. Those I don't need. That I don't need. That I don't need. Uh, keeping those and this. Don't think I need those anymore. Don't need the buckets. You know a number of people that do something similar? Yeah, I mean, I know that you can't compare yourself to, like, other streamers and stuff, but I've always admired the dedication and the pure amount of time that someone like Tangent spends streaming. Like, it's bananas. I think it's the, it's the casual nature of it. I think it's my podcasting experience that has me sort of... Um, wanting to make things look good like a presentation combined like versus the casual nature of basically muting your mic having lunch at your desk and chatting in the chat room live you know it's cool i'm not saying it's a bad thing i just there's a i admire the people that can let go <laughs> Oh, that's all in a row, isn't it? That's not good. Um, is that a slab? That's a slab. Maybe? Yeah, I think that kind of helps turn you. The idea is that to get you down here, you're going to see this cool thing as you're coming down, but then you get down here and I want the path to kind of like gently nudge you to look this way because then like that looks cool. I do. I put a lot of work into that waterfall and you can't see it from anywhere else. So I kind of want to give some players an opportunity to see things. Oh, that's a slab. Dang it. I really wish we had more options for slab textures in the game. Uh, do I want that to be light colored? It would make sense. This would be the, like the side that would get hit by the sun most. The sun goes down like right there. Well, right there, I guess. I I was thinking with the shaders on, it goes down over there, but yeah, directly overhead with the vanilla style. Oh yeah, that looks fine. That's good. I kind of want to see what this would look like if it was a oak, or not oak, spruce thing. Maybe I'll just move this back. Hmm. I just don't like cutting the path in half with the textures. For whatever reason, I'm just not loving the brown concrete powder in this area. Did 
there it works okay. Or maybe I can put it over here. really don't know what I'm doing here. It's a complicated path design. Not a perfectionist? Oh, I don't know. I sense sarcasm. I think that's fine. This feels very repetitive. Don't know what else I could do here, though. You sort of have to suspend your disbelief that that's a plank. We had stripped wood slabs. If, if, if. If only, if only, right? So this is going to be tricky. I feel like this is going to be just a few texture bits peppered in. Dad from Bear, resubscribing, tier one, 23 months, almost a full two years. That's amazing, Dad from Bear. Thanks so much for the support. Glad you're enjoying the streams. Yeah, this is tricky. That sort of cuts it off, doesn't it? I wonder if this is an opportunity where I can actually use dirt on purpose. Although next to grass, it's gonna it's gonna grow. Does grass go di diagonally too, or is it only straight lines? I think it's diagonally. Yeah, this is where I want pebbles in my rock texture or my coarser texture again. It's weird how it cuts it off. Maybe if I get rid of this, put gravel there. Move this up here.
need some cracked stone. That looks okay. Gappy the guy. I am indeed an early bird today. Uh, and Vojt, AK, welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. I think that works. Yeah, I think gravel works better there. I think that's done. It's a squid farm. It looks really wet from over here. So it's worth noting we haven't done any of the riverbanks up here yet. We've not attempted to do anything on either side. So it's just been a very quick... Um, we've got the, the line is right, and we've put some bone meal on the bottom, but I've not done any of the riverbank stuff that I've done elsewhere. I wonder whether... Did I put all that back? I did. I might end up revisiting this. I kind of feel like I should go from dark oak to mangrove and then to spruce. Not spruce, to oak. I kind of just noticed how good it looked from the other side. How that really looks wet, but then it looks like it's gone too light too quickly and there's not much that can be done around this path other than just like waiting for my pebble texture there's no other blocks I feel like I can put in there and have it work Maybe I'll switch these two. That sort of helps. And then, uh, There's no other real colors I can put down there. That helps a little bit.
mangrove. Uh, have that, have that. I just need the mangrove. Oh, it's getting dark. Crap. That's full. Interesting moose. Hello, Joel. Are you a perfectionist? 100%. Yep. Also love the Spawn Chunks podcast. You and Johnny do such a great job. Thank you very much. I hope you caught the uh, episode this week with Impulse. That was a really fun conversation. Obviously, I had a nice time chatting with Fwip as well. But uh, this week was Impulse. All right. So I'm going to switch these out for Mangrove. I'm going to switch these out. Oak. I think that works a little bit better. It's really subtle. Really, really subtle, but I think that just changing the order from darkest, second darkest, and then even though this is not quite lighter than the oak, I feel like the oak looks like it's drier. It has more highlights. This looks still more green and damp, I think. Cool. Calling that a win. Uh, oh, that's full. Do I have those out here somewhere? No. All right, I think that's something in the book that we can check off. Table and chairs. Riverbanks, North River. No, nope. I guess it wasn't something that I had written down. <laughs> that doesn't mean we can't write it, write it down and check it off. Uh, what would we call this? So East Farm Road, landscape, wheat farm path textures. I'll call that part of West Hill Valley, sure. Uh, West Bridge River Path. Cool. So I've got a little bit of time, and what I think I'm going to do very quickly is pick a color for the roof of this little house that we kind of threw down quickly at the end of the stream yesterday and see what that looks like with a, a roof on it. I, uh, I guess I have to go over there. What other roofs are in the area? I don't want to do dark oak because dark oak is what's behind it up here. So I would say probably a spruce roof. 
we might change the decorations a little bit. This roof, this roof will be easiest for now. It's just going to be a frame. A color, you say? You know color. I mean, you know what I mean. So I'm just going to throw this on here quickly. I imagine it's just going to be a straight low roof. The gable on this side. Oh, I should have brought scaffolding. Oh well. So, super fast. I guess that can go back in there. Oh, did I not have enough slabs? I guess I didn't have enough slabs. So that would be a very quick idea. I certainly wouldn't want it any taller. And I'm going to want to make it look a little bit different. I don't, that's a little bit boring. I think we're going to need a front gable on this. Yeah. It's good that it pokes up over the wheat field. Pink, says Cosmic Dancer. Be honest, you were not expecting that. No, I'm, I am shaken. Shooketh. To the core. So like I said, this is a little bit on the boring side. Uh, this is also one, two, three, four. This is probably going to be better off going this way. Although that doesn't look all that good either. Maybe we have to push this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe we have to go over the door. do this one two three this would be the middle did it not oh no wait a minute one two three four five six seven eight that's not what I wanted to do guess maybe we'll bring it down early there That's going to look a little strange, but that doesn't mean we can't move the door. Uh, 
door could be here. Let's move the path. That's certainly more interesting as far as the silhouette goes when you're coming up on it. We'll take a look here. Switch over to shaders. I want to sleep so I can see what's going on. How are we doing for um, folks that are streaming Minecraft right now? I see. I don't recognize any names. Does anybody know if Luna Cupcake is a family-friendly stream? Okay, let's back up. And we'll take a look and see what our handiwork today looks like. we be in shadow with the morning sun on this riverbank, but I think it should be okay. You're not going to be able to see a heck of a lot unless you actually look down. There's a little bit of the path that you can see here, which I think is good. You get get some hints. I mean, if you go over and look, you can actually see it. But uh, you definitely see that there's something there, which is good. I like the fact that there's layers. Uh, coming this way, very obvious that there's something there. Worth maybe taking a small stroll and having a look. Oh, look, someone I can ignore for the rest of the stream. Yeah, okay. And then going back up here and looking to the horizon at that house that we just put in. I think it's behind a tree. Yeah, like you can't see it at all until you're well down towards the crossroads. And at that point, it kind of crops up in a nice position between the sign and the tree. We might have to do something more interesting with this side. I feel like maybe it needs a chimney over on this end. Or maybe on the back. Chimney on the back would be good. Yeah, this whole area here feels like it's going to be kind of boring. So I think maybe what we'll do to keep this from being so bland is... Um, what I'll do is I'll probably just... Stick this here for now. Pretend these are stones. And there would probably be a chimney there to break things up a bit. Let's travel down this way. Oh, all right. So the chimney might not go right there because it's going to line up with the other chimney. Although I guess if we don't have any smoke coming out of it, then that's fine. And we probably wouldn't because there's some there and some there already. So that would probably just be a stone chimney. And that's fine. We can nudge it left or right. Yeah, I think that'll be good. I don't know about the spruce as the final color. I feel like I might want to do something with like a trim. I know it won't be dark oak because of the dark oak behind it. Unless we do a spruce trim and dark oak in the middle. But I feel like that's okay. Do people like it? It's, it feels a little close to the road, maybe. I might want to push it back a tad. This is why I frame things out, because if you have to move it, it's really not that big of a deal. Yeah, I feel like southeast. CJ, good to see you.
Yeah, I feel like southeast would be a little bit better. There'd be a little bit more wheat farm on that side if we moved it a block or two that way. All right, that'll be something for another day. Purpose? No idea. Someone just has to live there, I guess. I need it. I just wanted, I need something to fill the space. And I'm assuming it's going to be a house. I don't know why I decided to build a house there, but we'll see. This guy just keeps on getting closer and closer, so we're going to walk away. All right, folks, that's where I'm going to tie things off today. I do need to get going. Um, we are going to pass you along to Prolescent Moon, who is streaming on the Hermitcraft server, I would imagine. I hope you're having a uh, good day with them. You can come back tomorrow at 9 o'clock Atlantic. So we are streaming early today and tomorrow because I've got plans. I've got a friend visiting in town. So I'll be doing a 9 a.m. Lego stream where we're going to be actually building this. This front gate is uh, a design by Grandpa Crafter that he sent in. And then we're building that in Lego. It's very cool. I think you'll enjoy it. Make sure you check that out. Check out the Spawn Chunks podcast and the Citadel Cafe podcasts. They're both free wherever you can find your podcasts. And please check out Patreon. Uh, I noticed a couple of people have joined the Patreon lately. I very much appreciate it. It's the most affordable way to support me. It's only $2 a month, which is less than the price of one cup of coffee. And I uh, will absolutely use it for coffee. <laughs> Keeps me going. Uh, but it also helps me with the time streaming and all that other stuff. So thanks ever so much, folks. I will catch you tomorrow. Bye for now.